Fuck. Look, I'm not gonna act like I'm not disappointed that this trade went through because look, we knew it was happening. We knew Kevin Porter Jr. was gonna get traded any second. Oh my god, but I'm still so disappointed, man. Kevin Porter Jr. was supposed to be the guy. He was supposed to be the future of the Cavs. But now we got Sexton. We got Sexton. We got Colin Sexton and Darius Garland. But we could have had all three of them. But instead, Kevin Porter Jr. got arrested multiple times for possession of a firearm, illegal a drug, um... Flipping his car, I believe, and throwing a tantrum in the locker room where reportedly he tried to, tried to throw hands, like, against their GM. Like, what are you doing trying to throw hands against their GM, mate? Go play some Wii Sports. Go unleash your anger on, you know, your, uh, go unleash your anger on Wii Sports. Go unleash your anger on, you know, a, a body part that I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm hitting at here. But again, I'm going to try and make this video... <laughs> in a way where I don't really want to, you know, again, I've got a lot of editing to do and whatnot, so I kind of want to make this one get to the point. My opinion, of course, is, well, uh, look, a second round pick that's protected. I've never seen a pick, I swear I've never seen a second round pick have a protection on it. Like, I mean, at least the Cavs got something out of him, right? Right? I mean... What can you do? We traded four second round picks for him, four future second round picks, $5 million to get him to the team. He had a great rookie season. Now he's playing for the Houston Rockets with, again, Victor Oladipo, John Wall, Boogie Cousins, etc. The thing that I think I'm most disappointed in is the Houston Rockets just traded James Harden away to the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the thing that I think is extremely funny and that I'm really disappointed in is that a lot of people compared Kevin Porter Jr. on draft night to James Harden. A lethal step back, left-handed, great core awareness. Again, Kevin Porter Jr. has every aspect that James Harden did really in the first couple of years of James Harden's career. That's what I find funny, but what I find disappointing is the Cleveland Cavaliers no longer have that on our team, and now the Houston Rockets, who just traded away James Harden for eight future first-round picks or something, Victor Oladipo and all these, just traded a protected second-round pick for a player who's most compared to James Harden in the league. How lucky could the Houston Rockets have gotten? Now, look, there's no guarantees that Kevin Porter Jr. even steps foot on the court for the Houston Rockets. No guarantees whatsoever. For all we know, he'll never play again. His career's done. And again, that's the lowest ceiling that we can think of when it does come to Kevin Porter Jr. But when it comes to the highest ceiling that he has, he still has an incredibly high ceiling. Again, not long ago were many people comparing him to James Harden and said he was the future of the Cleveland Cavaliers. And now, if he gets his crap together, he could be the future of the Houston Rockets. Again, that's how good this kid is. He, you look at Colin Sexton, he's averaging 27 points. Darius Garland, before he hurt his shoulder, was averaging, what, 16 points and 7 assists or something. You look at those two and how great they've been this season. I still think Kevin Porter Jr. has more potential than both of them. And that's an understatement because of how good these guys have been this season. And Kevin Porter Jr. is out here not even playing a game because of certain issues. And I'm still saying he could have more potential than Sexlin. I'm still saying he could be one of the best players in the NBA if he put his mind to it. Especially on a team of the Houston Rockets who will be starting a rebuild on the run with players like Victor Oladipo, John Wall and whatnot, who have injury issues. I mean, John Wall hasn't played in ages again. Victor Oladipo, who knows, could always get injured again. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins, who knows if he will even be back next season. 
this could be Kevin Porter Jr.'s team. For, for all we know, let's just say Victor Oladipo and Boogie leave in free agency, which could still happen. John Wall's always injured. This could damn well already be Kevin Porter Jr.'s team. Look, Christian Wood's good and all, and he's going to be a gun, and he's going to average 23 points per game and whatnot. But Kevin Porter Jr. still has the potential to make it his team and be the best player on this roster. And the Houston Rockets got him for a protected second round pick. What angers me the most is the Cleveland Cavaliers could not keep him because it's hurting the culture. It's hurting the way people are looking at Cleveland. Because if you think about it, with Sexton and the success the Cavaliers have had this season, some people still look down on Cleveland just because of what Kevin Porter Jr.'s actions were. Like, look, Sexton's, Sexton's been great. Their young future Cavs have argued one of the best young cores in the league. Some people would argue he is the best young core in the league. It doesn't matter all of that right now because what overshadow what was overshadowing that rather is Kevin Porter Jr. getting arrested and throwing a tantrum and about to throw hands with our general manager still makes people comment stuff saying that if I lived in Cleveland, I would want to throw hands with the manager too just to get my way out of there. But now he is gone... Situations like this will not happen, which means we will see less comments like that. And the way Cleveland is looked at is slowly improving and will definitely and ultimately improve if the Cavaliers' young core stays like this and continues to grow. If you want to throw hands with someone, go throw hands with Matt on Way Sports. Why are you trying to throw hands with our GM? I don't care that your locker was moved. Look, it was dull, like, and not great that the Cavaliers moved the locker and anything like that. But you don't try and throw hands with your GM. You have Wii Sports and Matt to do that. Don't throw hands with him. Just do it. It angers me and upsets me that this whole situation was caused because the Cavaliers moved his locker. It also angers and upsets me... That Kevin Porter Jr. acted the way he did and tried to throw hands with our gen you know, general manager. Now, he's at Houston where he could make it his own team and have a great career if he puts his head to it. But will he do that is remain to be seen. But of course, I would very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest content and news. Don't forget to subscribe to, you know, the sports channel for all that. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my IRL slash long channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I'll sign up to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.